Welcome back to Living Local. Trees can make your home more attractive, but they're also vital for the environment. But trees can also be tricky, and that's why it's important to have an expert on your side as you navigate the do's and the don'ts. And here to tell us all about it is Alex Rose, co-owner of Shademaster Nursery, which is also this segment sponsor. Hey. Hi. Thanks for having us back out here. Welcome back. It's lovely. Yes. I love being here. Hey, so this time we're talking about trees. We're yes. talking about the importance of trees. Yes. It's uh, more than just shade, right? It is, yes. So outside of just oxygen production uh, and shade, of course, of course. Uh, trees are basically giant filters. Mm -hmm. They suck up roughly about 500 gallons of water in their trunk, Bonkers. leaves, branches, roots. Mm -hmm. They also uh, take care of any air pollutants, soil sure. contaminants, all of that before it rushes off into our streams. They prevent soil erosion. Mm -hmm. Their roots spread out roughly about as wide as their branches spread. Really? If not a little bit further. Yeah. That's oh bonkers. yeah. Depending wow. on the variety. Okay. Flood retention is a big thing. Sure. Especially it, around here. Especially around <laughs> here. Yes. Yeah. So if only the people up north would plant more trees, so we <laughs> sure. wouldn't get flooded. So it's their fault. It's okay. their fault. Uh, it's never to the ours. Bottom of that. Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, they also store carbon. Uh, the carbon that they suck up, and along with the photosynthesis that goes through their leaves, mm -hmm. produces the sugars that feed the tree. Byproduct of that is oxygen production. To sure. give you guys a little bit of a yeah. science background on that. Yeah. Uh, they also make the area a little bit more accommodating to be around. So yes. people tend to hang out more or spend more time in places with a lot more trees in shopping centers, everything mm -hmm. else like that, you're able to meander instead of rush because you're not dealing with the heat during the summer when everyone right. wants to spend their money. Yeah. So they're important in a lot of different ways. Yeah, see, for me, I'm just like, well, trees are pretty. They are. And now I know <laughs> a little are. bit more, you know. Um, and, you know, tree maintenance, though, can be kind of tricky. So what should viewers kind of do to ensure some success? Not all trees grow perfectly, unfortunately. unfortunately it yeah. is a little bit of a maintenance on our end. So watering during the first or second, mm -hmm. ideally up to two years after it's been planted, is paramount to sure. make sure that the roots get established and that your tree can survive any future droughts or any other hard weather. From then on, then it's just a matter of pruning, uh, staking for that first year at least mm -hmm. to make sure that it doesn't blow over, of course. Sure. Uh, for pruning and everything else like that, once the tree gets so big, you can't really reach it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when I encourage homeowners to at least have an arborist come through. Roughly every one to three years, okay. give or take, they'll get up into your tree, they'll find any problem branching, because not all branches come out looking like the V like they should. Sure. If they're any closer and you get the creases, water gets in there, then they can rot. And then okay. we get our wonderful deray shows that seem to be showing up a little bit more often. Sure. And that's when chunks of trees fall out. So proper maintenance, proper pruning and thinning out of trees allows wind to move through trees instead of against them. Yeah. It's a, it's a it, it, you know, I would just think, well, you plant the tree and then you're done. Most do. But, um, <laughs> but there's a lot that goes into there's it, a it lot. sounds like. Yeah. yeah. And you can kind of help them through that process, which is great. Yes. Um, so. <clears throat> Let's, you know, if somebody's interested in, in getting a tree, that journey can start here, but you also help them through the planning process as well, right? Yes. Yeah. So not only will we help you find the tree that fits the area size, width, and how fast you want it to get there, Yeah. we also provide delivery and installation. Uh, most of our installations are typically hand dug. We don't like to tear up people's property. We want it to sure. look prettier before we leave. So uh, when our guys come, typically we use ball carts, we get it onto the property. Of course, we use Iowa one or Julie to mark the property ahead sure. of time. Uh, hand dig the tree in, we stake, we mulch, we fertilize, and we also include a nice big sheet of paper that tells them how <laughs> to take care of their tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And how many varieties do you carry on site here? Oh my goodness. So we have roughly at least 30 different types of maples. Wow. We'll have over 100 different types of just deciduous trees, wow. roughly a little over 30 evergreen trees. We've got a whole bunch of fruit trees, uh, lots of different varieties that can vary throughout the year. And yeah. Can definitely get a lot more, lacking in space for it. But sure. <laughs> well, you do special orders. You were telling me about a customer you recently helped that had a special request, and you were able to kind of figure that out yes, for them, right? Yes. That's cool. Uh, because a good chunk of my customers are contractors, I'm able to get trucks throughout the year, and okay. then people who are looking for special order things, I've got a nice stack of papers that I go through each time to see wow. who still needs what and yeah. how big. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy to me. And you know, it, it, it must. It, it's there's an art to 
planting a tree and taking care of it. And, and it's so great to have someone like you that can kind of help them through that process because it yeah. sounds a little bit more it sounds daunting, it's yeah. not, and we include instructions on how to plant Love trees that. with a wonderful picture of how it should look. <laughs> picture books are great, yes. that's how I learn Pictures everything. Pictures are Alex. amazing. Okay, great. Yeah, right, right, right. So yeah, we include all kinds of instructions. We walk them through it while they're here, explain how everything is, uh, we tell them where to go to buy the things, you know, the studded t posts, right. all that good stuff, when to wrap their tree in the winter to prevent against uh, rabbits or deer, all sure. that good stuff. Well, and, and on that topic, when is it too late to plant it, like in the fall? Like, is there, it, I'm guessing just before it gets fro the frost lays and all that? Uh, or is not it? necessarily. Okay. So you can plant as late into the year as the ground is workable. Okay. Now, when we start getting snow, snow starts making the mud all oily and nasty, and you really sure. don't want to backfill with wet dirt. Right. Uh, makes air pockets, it dries the tree out, it's no That's, good. I would not have known that. Uh, so I typically tell people to, depending on the type of tree, some trees are a little finicky in our area, I'll tell them to hold off uh -huh. until spring just to have them save their money. Sure. Um, so, I mean, we've planted well into November, some years December, it just depends yeah. on how much snow we get and when. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, you know, people kind of uh, associate spring with the planting time, but it can be done in the fall as it well. It can be done during the summer, it can be done in the fall, it just depends on how the weather's going. Uh, trees are already going dormant for the most part in the fall, sure. so it's a little less stressful, there's a little less watering that you have to do. Sure. Still got to water all next year, but... Yeah. It gives you a head start so that way you don't have to beat the spring rush. Sure. Well, hey, Alex, thanks for chatting trees with us. Yeah. This was so Thank you. informational. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, again, this segment was sponsored by Shade Master Nursery. You can learn more when you visit shademasternursery.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.